Would you? I just shut that. Hi everybody, thanks for stopping by. I've got some weekly manicures uh, from last week. I'm staying up on schedule, so let's talk about um, the five polishes that I wore last week. So, uh, I feel like I'm kind of getting into some spring colors looking at these. I feel like a lot of these are kind of pastel or kind of pastel leaning polishes so it seems to me that maybe spring has finally sprung for me so since the earth day sale is you know going on through the end of the month i made the conscious decision to wear uh, mostly zoya polishes and i think i'm going to keep doing that i don't know if i'm going to wear zoya polishes every day but i think um for the next couple weeks i'm going to try and wear um, a few zoya polishes you know if the mood strikes me i might wear more but i'm going to try and at least wear maybe a couple polishes in my manicures for the week that are zoyas just in case people are needing um inspiration or ideas for polishes to pick so um so yeah so expect to see some zoya polishes in the next couple weeks i am hoping i have time to film a um kind of like some other Zoya suggestion type video um, for folks that still haven't made any decisions or maybe want to put in a second or third order for polishes. And yeah, so let's go ahead and jump into this week, uh, last week's manicures. So to start out last week, I had gotten a little bird on Instagram and I'm sorry that I don't remember your name or if you watch my YouTube videos or if you only follow me on Instagram, but um, somebody on Instagram, uh, I don't know what you call it in Instagram terms, but basically somebody was having a de-stash sale and they had posted about it on their Instagram feed. And so one of my followers um, kind of like commented my, you know, like tagged me, is it tagged? Tagged me in the, uh, in the post so that I saw it. So somebody was selling their copy uh, or their copy. Somebody was selling their bottle of uh, China Glaze Boho Blues, which is what I mentioned a couple manicure videos ago. Um, and so one of my followers on Instagram met, tagged me, and so I was able to snag a bottle of Boho Blues, which is awesome. Um, if you did not watch that video, I uh, prior to this, I had China Glaze Don't Be Shallow, um, just because I had not had a chance to pick this up, because um, I think this Don't Be Shallow came out in like a summer um, in a summer collection after this came out because I didn't get this I went ahead and grabbed don't be shallow I don't really care for don't be shallow I don't really care for the formula too much and uh, this is the color that I wanted originally I had just gotten don't be shallow just because I had not gotten a chance to get this polish so now this is in my possession and I'm very excited about it so um, it's a little bit I don't have don't be shallow anymore so I can't um, compare the two but to me uh, this is just a kind of like paler cornflower blue it's a little bit of a um, it's a little bit darker of a blue than Don't Be Shallow was. The formula is still not amazing. It's, you know, China Glaze, so for me the, the formulas are not always great. For China, I never have really much luck with China Glaze polish it with formulas. So it wasn't a terrible formula. I was able to get it opaque in, uh, I want to say... I can't remember if it was two or three, but it wasn't a terrible formula. So even if it was three coats, to me, it wasn't bad. It didn't have the issues that Don't Be Shallow did, which was like the self-leveling and like over manipulation to where like, even if you did three or four coats, it was still like, it just never looked right. So i um, super glad to have this in my collection now. And I really enjoyed wearing this last week. So that again is uh, Boho Blues from China Glaze. And then after that polish, I went ahead and started focusing. I think I wore... Tuesday's polish and then after this was like oh I should start wearing some Zoya's so this is the first Zoya um, that I picked out I haven't worn this one in a while and I wanted to start getting into some spring pastel color so I kind of dipped my toe in a little bit um, with this guy and this is Tulip and Tulip is it's a soft peach but it does have um, some pink qualities to it so to me it kind of leans a little bit like salmony pink and um, I don't think you're gonna be able to tell from the video nor can you really see it that well in the bottle but there is a very faint um i want to say gold shimmer it's so faint i can barely even see it you can see it when you're applying it on your nail just because the um formula on this is quite thin but to me i want to say since it blends in so well with the with the base color i want to say it's a gold but it's so delicate that you can barely see it so don't think you're going to see it from this video but just bear in mind that it is there um so it's just a beautiful kind of like pink leaning 
peach. It's very soft. It's a very pretty pastel. It has a pastel quality to it. It isn't quite like, yeah, I would say it's a pastel. It's just a soft pastel. Um, like I said, the shimmer, I don't really understand why the shimmer is there. I don't feel like it does really much to kind of brighten the polish. So I'm not quite sure how I feel about the shimmer, but it doesn't really show up on the nail. So to me, I, you know, it's just, it is what it is. It's in the formula, but don't expect to see it on your nail. Um, but it is there and the formula is okay on this. It's not great. You do need three coats. Um, and you just have to be a little careful with the, um, with application. It's not, you know, it's not a terrible formula by any means, but it might be a little tricky for maybe beginners or people that, um, and for me, I guess also I have trouble with some of these types of formulas because I tend to do thicker coats. So I feel like maybe for folks that do thinner coats, you might not have as much issue. But for me, um, this formula was a little bit tricky, but I do really love this color. So I kind of put up with the formula, um, but it's not a terrible formula by any means. So really enjoy this polish, a really nice kind of like subtle, pastel color for springtime. So that again is Tulip from Zoya. And then the next polish uh, from Zoya that I decided to feature is uh, Regan. And Regan is your kind of, it's kind of like a medium purpley pink. Um, to me, I would say it's kind of like right in the middle. To me, I feel like it's hard. I would say it's a little bit more of a pink. Uh, Oh, uh, I want to say uh, it's so it's really 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 in the middle. Um, I want to me I want to say it's a pink but I feel like it kind of just sits right in the middle to where it's one of those like purpley pinks. So it's a really nice kind of um, staple. Ooh, it's a really nice kind of staple color to have in your collection. It's one of those really nice kind of go to like I don't know what to wear kind of goes with everything work appropriate type shade. Um, I do like this color. The formula on this is really nice. I think this is one coat if you want it to be. I almost always do two coats just to kind of you know, cover my bases, but um, you could make this one coat if you wanted to. I do love this color, or I mean, I do love this formula. The color I'm kind of iffy on. It's just, I don't, I don't really gravitate towards these type of colors. So while I, I'm glad I have it in my collection as kind of a like, I don't know what to wear, like quick grab kind of, you know, one coat polishes. It's not necessarily something that I grab all of the time, um, but it's a, it's a really nice polish. So that again is Zoya's Regan. And then this polish I just recently acquired. Um, one of the uh, one of my followers here on YouTube, her name is Sarah. She graciously sent me this polish in addition to another Zoya polish that I had on my wish list. I had initially wanted, um, which you'll see here in like an upcoming haul video, but um, she reached out to me and offered to send me her bottle of this particular polish. And she also was. Um, offered to send me another polish that she didn't really care for and she asked me if I wanted it so I said yes and that polish is Zoya's Carter and Carter's always been on my radar but hasn't really been a polish that I've been like super you know excited about getting which I don't know why it's a really pretty purple um I don't know I just maybe I thought I had some colors like it in my collection but I don't know it just never was on my like wish list of like oh you have to get this polish but it's actually really pretty I enjoyed it so um Carter is in the uh pixie dust formula so it's going to be one of those like textured mattes it is kind of a like cooler purple kind of like an ultraviolet base um but as you can see here it has this really pretty magenta um glitter in there as well and the glitter um the magenta glitter in here just really makes this really nice and shiny on the nail it's just a really beautiful kind of uh like jewel tone type color so it's really really pretty um the formula on it I, is a little weird it's not uh it's not like the other pixie dust that i'm used to so this one it didn't have a lot of glitter coverage on like the first like on the first coat it had a lot of nail line like which i'm not used to i feel like with most pixie dust you do need two coats um, but generally on the first coat it does a pretty good job of covering the nail that second coat is just maybe to kind of like fill in a couple gaps and to really kind of like zhuzh up the glitter if you will um but this one had a really really thin formula um and also you know i almost want to say and i don't want to yeah, you know what? I take back. Let me let me start over here. Um, this actually has like a really dark. Yeah, because I think I went to I went to apply this thinking it had like this kind of like cooler purple 
um, shade that you kind of think it does, and because in the bottle you're kind of like, oh, it's like a uh, you know a cool purple against this kind of magenta like warmer purple, but it actually isn't. So this ended up being a lot darker as I was applying it. It appeared a lot darker on the nail than I had anticipated. Um, so it actually has, and I just painted the nail polish on my thumb because that's how weird I am. Um, this actually has like a dark, almost like charcoal type and it's very thin it's not going to be like a very opaque um but it's got like this charcoaly gray almost black base and then it has the magenta glitter so um like i said it's a little it ended up looking a little more dark on the nail than i i had anticipated um but once you were able to get and this took three coats to be opaque um but once you were able to get that magenta -ish glitter to really be opaque on the nail um that is a majority of that's a majority of what the uh, effect is on the nail is that just bright kind of jewel toned look of the magenta shimmer that's on that's uh you know that ends up being like the kind of end result and it's really really pretty i i usually wear most of the time i wear i don't wear a whole lot of matte nails so i almost always put a top coat i should have probably done a couple more coats of this so even because i think i only did one uh, one coat of top coat, so it ended up being a little more like satiny than I would have liked. I probably would have preferred this to be a little bit more um, shiny, but even with the one coat and it was still a little textured, that magenta shimmer, uh, the magenta glitter in here, just really just bright, vibrant, really just glowed off the nail. So I really did enjoy this. It just, I had a couple little, you know, the formula was kind of meh. Um, and I wasn't really anticipating it being so dark on the nail, so this probably wouldn't be next round when I do end up wearing this again. I don't know if this would necessarily be a summer shade or a, uh, you know, like early spring shade for me. I just felt like it was a little dark. I feel like fall time, this would be a perfect shade. So I did enjoy this, but you know, probably not this time of year. So that is Zoya's Carter. And then to round out the week is another uh, pretty pastel. And this is Zoya's Sage. And again, this is more of like a softer pastel. And again, these satin bottles really suck at showing off color. But this is a really nice, um, as the name suggests, a nice sage green. It's a really kind of, um, it's a pastel, but it's a nice kind of neutral shade on the nail. I love these satin formulas. Even if you, so I almost always put a top coat on these, so I never really wear these, um, you know, satiny. But the formula on these are amazing. They're so buttery, so like so just amazing formulas on these one coats from all the, I'm pretty sure all of the ones that I have in my collection are one coat. Um, I just love these formulas. So even if you don't like satin finishes, I would highly recommend trying some of these if you haven't already because the formulas on them are amazing. You only need one, you know, you only need like one coat of top coat to just make them shine, to make them more shiny because they are like, you know, satin. So they're kind of shiny. Um, but I just, this for, this is a beautiful formula. I love this color. Um, it's just a very nice, this is kind of like the greens that I wear, the kind of like muted, or the kind of greens that I prefer to wear, these kind of like muted, dustier kind of greens. Um, and I really like that this had a little bit more green in it because I did, I think, uh, I did wear Zoya's Ireland not too long ago and that is a little bit not as, it's not as green as this so I do, between the two I think I kind of prefer this one a little bit more. Um, but yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful polish so highly recommend that one. That is Zoya's Sage. And that's it. So thanks for joining me. I would love to hear what you guys were wearing last week and what you're looking forward to wearing uh, coming up here in the springtime. And uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap this up because I know my last couple videos have been a little long. So I thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.